I'm sure most of you are aware that electric cars are exploding in popularity. And by that, I mean the media and government are shoving them down our throats. I've been watching reviews of six-figure electric cars. Who can afford those? Tesla has been the most new and exciting thing for what? The past 10 years? As with everything going on in the world, it's about control. We made a video a little while ago where I tested the radiation levels in a Tesla and compared to a regular gas vehicle, you're being cooked in a microwave. Might as well take an x-ray every day. So not only are electric vehicles dangerous for your physical health, they also have technology that is being used to monitor and control us even more. Instead of just knowing where we're going, they want to measure every single breath you take in your car from the gas pedal movements to how much you turn the steering wheel. Biden approved infrastructure bill, mandated kill switches coming to cars by 2026. Deep within the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act that was signed into law by President Joe Biden is a passage that will require automakers to begin including what can be summarized as a vehicle kill switch within the operating software of new cars, which is described in the bill as advanced drunk and impaired driving prevention technology. The measure has been positioned as a safety tool to help prevent drunk driving, and by 2026, three years after the enactment of the act, per the text, the kill switch could be mandated on every new car sold in the United States. However, that doesn't seem to be enough for Congress. Compounding on the Infrastructure Act is the Bipartisan Ride Act of 2021. Per the bill, the proposed safety device will passively monitor the performance of a driver of a motor vehicle to accurately identify whether the driver may be impaired. The language of the Ride Act bill states the following. To require the Secretary of Transportation, acting through the Administrator of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, to prescribe a federal motor vehicle safety standard for advanced drunk and impaired driving prevention technology and for other purposes. It's so ridiculous they have the same playbook for everything. Oh, it's for your safety. So your poor little family doesn't get hurt by the big bad drunk drivers. <laughs> Has the TSA stopped one domestic threat? Just like they're definitely gonna use this to stop drunk drivers. It's pretty clear what those five grams towers were for. They need the very powerful energy emission between the vehicles and whoever's sitting in these government offices watching people drive their car. It's completely disgusting. In regards to the prevalence of these towers on every major roadway, I made another video that covered this extensively. Basically, you used to be relatively free from high radiation levels while driving your car on the highways. Now, it's the opposite. New York passes law that will ban all gas-powered car sales by 2035. Several local government agencies are required to work together to make that a reality. The move will help reduce the state's greenhouse gas emissions by 35% and help it achieve its climate targets, including an 85% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. This is also happening in Canada, UK, as the New World Order psychos would love to say, global problems require global solutions. They manufacture the problem themselves, then create the solution. Zero emissions and any regulation around climate are completely fabricated guidelines being used to control you. It's like the government putting literal poison that is fluoride in your water and then saying that some made up amount is okay to consume. And they're changing vehicles even sooner. New vehicles must average 40 miles per gallon by 2026, up from 28 miles per gallon. New vehicles sold in the US will have to average at least 40 miles per gallon of gasoline in 2026, up from about 28 miles per gallon under new federal rules unveiled Friday that undo a rollback of standards enacted under President Donald Trump. Now the masses and most people are going to go along with this and there will be more and more severe health issues in young people, 20s, 30s, teenagers, even children. I've known for the past years that just about any disease or illness is a result of our modern technology emitting high levels of radiation and the symptoms of these new unknown health issues will be identical to radiation poisoning. If that's not crazy enough, try to keep up with the news in other countries.
Sri Lanka crisis. 13-hour daily power cuts as country faces worst economic collapse since 1948. Authorities have been told to turn off streetlights to conserve power. On Wednesday, parts of the country faced 10-hour-long power cuts, but it was extended up to 13 hours on Thursday as Sri Lanka ran out of oil to power thermal generators. Now, I found out about this because my graphic designer asked me to pay him before they cut the power, and I was like, what is this guy talking about? Where does he live? So I googled power cuts and Sri Lanka came up. I can see this happening with the up and coming cyber attacks. They've been warning about us for three years. Tell the public they have to shut down the internet or electricity for 10 hours a day while Con Edison takes orders from the elite sociopaths who were laughing in their homes powered by massive diesel generators. You know, it's, it's really consistent, and to me, it seems repetitive, you know? They're badgering the masses with all this predictive programming, so it becomes accepted as fact when it happens, you know? Yeah, it's hard to believe that there are human beings that are evil enough to, uh, to do this to other people. But uh, what are you going to do? So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, go to frank defilecom to support me through all of my businesses. I'm always wearing my Wi-Fi protective t-shirt, shorts, usually have my sweatshirt and joggers on as well for full body protection on WiFishielding.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow. If they don't cut the power, ooh.